question a lot of people ask me is like, you know, you're an English major and you're in pre-med, going to medical school, so why, why would that happen? But I just really um, enjoy the humanities, I enjoy history, I really find it interesting, I enjoy literature, so it was something that I wanted to focus on in my undergraduate and take that with me to medical school. During my sophomore year and my senior year, I took a history class with Professor uh, Deborah Morrison. The way she went about the topic of history kind of got me into saying, you know what, I do want to eventually maybe teach, so that got me into tutoring. All of us had the support of Dean Pinto, Mr. Valenz, from the very beginning, and now we're all leaders on campus. Well, my freshman year of college, I lived on the fourth floor in Woodward Hall. Now I'm a senior, and I was placed as an RA in Woodward Hall on the fourth floor again. I came into Rutgers thinking it's just going to be purely scientific, and actually I was encouraged to explore a more historical and artistic side of myself, uh, thanks to two faculty here, their professors, uh, Dr. Goodman and Professor Patel. My name is David Claremont. I am a journalism major. My name is Christine Garcia. I'm a junior year student here at Rutgers Newark. I am majoring in biology and double minor in chemistry and psychology. My name is Caroline Ezequestley. I'm a CAR academic scholar. I'm a biology major, minoring in psychology. I'm Samantha Devalaraju. I'm a junior graduating this May and I'm majoring in psychology and double minoring in biology and chemistry. Hi, I'm Vanya. I'm an English major and I am a biology minor. Uh, my name is Michael Augusta. I am a history major with a chemistry minor. Hi, my name is Shaden uh, Nouradine. I majored in biology during my time here. I also minored in chemistry and psychology. I was also part of the Honors College. From my first year, I tried to do as much as I could to get involved. So the first thing I did was join um, Health Promotion Division and HPD changed my life like forever. Um, it got me totally involved in like health and social justice and what it means to be a communicator, speaking in public, things like that. One of the biggest things I've been involved in extracurricularly has been dance. So I've done a couple different dance teams. I did Brick City Pangra, which which I started like pretty early on, like sophomore year. I do chemistry research for the Gallopini group. It's a synthetic organic chemistry research group. I joined the Scholar Mac, which I am the executive editor for, at some time around 2015. With the help of MAPS actually and the help of the Office of Academic Services, we're actually re-establishing a pre-medical society. And I'm actually like spearheading that. I'm the co-president for next fall. After I am done with medical school, I'd like to pursue residency in psychiatry, but mostly I'd like to work especially in the field of addiction psychiatry. Uh, after graduation, um, I will be continuing research in the Gallopini group. And I will also be continuing working at the Rutgers Learning Center uh, and also I'll be applying to dental school. After graduation, I kind of want to travel the world a little bit, maybe go to Europe this summer. I also plan on continuing some research that I've been working on um, at Greystone Hospital. I plan to go get my MPH here at Rutgers Newark and then um, apply to med school and go save some lives. I would like to thank the journalism department, specifically Professor Fisher, Zainab Saeed, and Amina Lukar Cannon who is the current editor-in-chief that's also graduating along with me. I'd like to say thank you to my parents, because without them, I wouldn't be around. Uh, thank you to my sister, always supporting me, my best friend Timmy, who's always been there for me no matter what. The academic um, advisor that had a really powerful impact on me are um, both Dean Pinto and uh, Mr. Falenz. They're the first people I met here, um, and they've guided me through these three years of my time in the seven-year BAMD program. I am really thankful to them for helping me adjust to the climate of Rutgers Newark and guiding me into medical school. I'd like to thank uh, Dominique Smart, uh, Dean Pinto, and um, just a lot of students that I met here. <laughs> to be honest, the list would be so long because I just like the faculty, obviously the peers and, and the mentors that I have met here have had a huge impact on me as a person as well.